Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to create this hover box and it's a wonderful little effect to have on your site. If people are mousing down your site and roll over that it's going to get their attention pretty quickly. And to do this today I'm going to show you a new plugin I've been using recently that really does deserve a mention and it's another one that's found its way into Elegance Themes uh, library up there. It's called uh, Divi Essentials and it's by a company called Divi Next. And they have a phenomenal amount of, of modules and layouts, 40 plus modules, 400 layouts, uh, all kind of things. and we're going to go over the a lot of these in this next series but they're just they really are stunning effects to have on your site and today we're just going to demonstrate one of them which is the hover box so let's get started so i'm going to enable my visual builder once enabled let's add a new module if it comes as standard with all the, the light gray, when, when you add the essentials, you get all these blue ones down here and there's plenty of them. And to be honest with you, a lot of them I haven't actually had time to try out yet, but let's do a few that I have. So let's go up to hover box. And there we are, there's our hover box. I'm simply gonna left click on it. Put whatever you want as your heading in the top there. Obviously, you can choose whether you want it to be H1, H2, H3, H4, etc. For those that don't know, H1 is the largest title and H6 is the smallest title. Then you can add media and descriptive text down here. Let's move this out of the way so we can see. I'm just going to add a bit of Lorimit, some dummy text for my description as I've got no real stuff there. And as you can see, when we spin it around, it pops it up there. There's the heading and there's the description right there. Let's go on down and let's add an image and I'll add quite a long image. Remember the size of the image is going to dictate the size of your box. So if you have a long wide image, it's going to be like that. If you have a deep image more like this one here, it'll be deep. So I'll use a similar one as I used before. There we go. And as you can see, it's already pretty much done everything for us. Image alt text. Um, a lot of people use that for keywords, but it should be used as a descriptive term for the actual image itself. Because for sight impaired people, they have screen readers that will actually read out what that is. But like I say, a lot of people use that for keywords. So put in what you will there. Overlay background, that's that little purple color that we had going in there. Let's just change that. Let's change it to blue today. There we go. Heading background, at the moment it's that black. Of course, you can change it to whatever you want. Why don't we change ours to. There we go, that works. If you want the module to link to something, obviously it's the link underneath. If you're linking to somewhere on the same site, just leave it in the same window. I'd recommend if you're linking to outside of your site to another website, put it in a new tab. That way your website stays open. Background, well, I don't really need a background color today. I guess if we put one in just to see what happens when it spins into the image, you'll probably get a glimpse of it. Yeah, that back, black background just pops in there slightly. Don't need to put an admin label. Let's go to our design tab. Now hover effects, they have got all kind of hover effects. We're on effect one at the moment. And I'm not going to go through all of them. There's there's a dozen, baker's dozen there. Say number four. That's quite nice. I like that number four. I think that's what I used before. And some of them you get to choose what it actually does. That's flipping from the side. That's quite nice too. <laughs> it falls, the image falls out there. That's quite, quite nice. And you can decide the direction there also. 
Let's see what the last one's got to say. Oh, it's like a sort of opening door. That's a nice effect too. I'm going to put mine back to number four. I think I quite like that one, but go through them and choose for yourself. Top to bottom. Yeah, I think that's going to work for me. What if we say bottom to top? That just makes it slide everything up from IC. That's okay. I'm just going to leave that just like that. Next down, we can uh, do our heading text at the moment. I'm going to leave it pretty much like it is. Let's make it a little bit heavier. Let's make it semi bold, perhaps. And give it a bit of text shadow just to see if it stands out on that background a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. A little bit of text shadow just gives it a slight 3D effect there. Let's move on down. Description text, obviously, that's this. Uh, I'm going to have it white in color. Make sure the opacity is all the way up. Yep, yeah, you can see that nicely. I like that. Might bring it up a little bit in size. Let's say 14 pixels or something like that. Yeah, that works fine. Let's roll on down. Sizing, I really don't want to change anything with the sizing. You can give it max width and max height and align it. Really, if you want to give it width, if you've got a large section and it's too big for you, you can say only fill up 50% of the the section or the available content of this column that we've got here. Then you can align it middle, right, left, how you will. But for me, I'm happy for it to take up 100% of the available space. And I want to make sure it's aligned middle. That way, when it breaks down on, on mobile phones and things like that, it will be in the middle. Don't want to do anything else there spacing well they're giving you a nice lot of spacing options here um let's have a look let's put a bit of a margin let's say 50 on the top of the margin don't you can just put in the number it'll put in pics for you if you want to use percentages or m's just select the px and put in your percentage or m's yeah that's pushed that down by 50 pics there and you can give it padding left, right, top and bottom, make that bar a little bit wider if you wanted to. Let's give it 20 top and bottom. That's made that bar a lot wider there. Moving on down to the description. Well, again, I could put a bit of a margin on the top there. Padding would just work as well with this particular. Let's give it 50 pixels all round and see what happens in the padding. So 50, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side view, top and bottom. And 50 right and left, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side again. There we go. Well, that may be a little bit too much there. Let's take a bit of that left and right away. Let's say 30. Yeah, that's okay. Obviously, you do it exactly how you will. And you can right align, left align, or justify that text, obviously. That's pretty much all I want to do. I don't know if I really want to give it a border or a box. We can give it a bit of box shadow just to lift it off the page a little bit there. But I think we're done. So let's save our changes. Save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder and take a look. There we have it. Like I say, that's a nice little effect right there. I like that a lot. Really easy to do. You just have a few little sections like that. Be great for a little services section or something like that. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. Once again, that was the Divi Essentials plugin from Divi Next, and you get a phenomenal amount of features. I think you get access to all their products when you sign up here I'll put my affiliate link below the video so if you've enjoyed this today please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day